I tested triple AI so that you don't have to. I'm gonna show you how to create amazing 3D models using triple AI because this is absolutely insane. So what I first wanna do is just jump into the tool and show you exactly what it looks like. This is Triple AI. I'll throw my affiliate link in the description down below. So what I've been doing is actually asking ChatGPT to make me images of models. So here's the first image that it made. It's right here, right? It's essentially like a koala slash panda mixed together. And what I wanted to do was 3D print this in multicolor. And all I did was went into the 3D workspace here on Triple AI. And Triple AI has this feature where you can actually turn an image into a 3d model and it's right here so you just click on image to 3d and then i uploaded the image right here double clicked on it and then click generate and this is the result right here so it's absolutely insane right and this is multi-color which is absolutely crazy and a lot of people don't know this but you can actually download the multi-color 3d model so once you've created the model you just click on export down here and what you have to make sure you do is you have to click on export vertex colors right here check that and then you need to download the .obj file because if you don't do the obj file it doesn't carry over the multicolor into your 3d printing slicer so then what i did was i loaded it into my slicer for the 3d printer and what it did was it drug the multicolor settings in there and i use bamboo studio because i have bamboo 3d printers and it works the best what it does is it walks you through the multicolor setup and then what i did was i selected the two colors that i wanted to 3d print this in which is white and black and then what I did was I, I, I moved around the sizing. I did the format so it would 3D print at the top of the build plate. And then I set it off to 3D print. This one I think took like 15 hours to 3D print, which I just set it up overnight. I woke up in the morning and as you can see here, the results turned out absolutely amazing. I'm pretty much astonished like how good of a job Triple AI does with creating 3D models. And it literally, I feel like if you're using ChatGPT to create images and then just throw them in the Triple AI, it literally takes like 30 seconds to create 3D models. And you know, I've been getting a lot of questions, you know, like, uh, is this gonna kill the 3D printing space for 3D modelers? I don't think so because AI modeling does have some setbacks. You know what I mean? Like if I were to just like try to create something like a structural 3D model, AI really struggles with that. So AI, like Triple AI and some of the other AI modelers, they're really good at certain specific things like turning specific images into 3D models. But if you're needing like a structural part with exact measurements and such, that's going to be a totally different ball game. So let's check out some of the other results that I've gotten with Triple AI. So here is another example of a cool 3D model that I 3D printed. I asked ChatGPT to make me a Rick and Morty themed action figure. And yes, just Rick and Morty themed, not exactly from the show, so don't get all weird. And then I also had somebody email me a picture of this dog. I'll show you right here. I constantly get people sending me images of people trying to like have me make them 3D models. I also had someone send me this image right here of a boy, I think it was. And what I did was I took all three of these images and then I put them into Triple AI to see what they'd come up with. So here's the first results. Uh, this is the Rick and Morty themed action figure. And this one turned out absolutely amazing. Like check this out. Like I'm still thoroughly blown away. It took that image you saw before four and it turned it into a 3d model and it's insane like you can be doing this as well guys again i'll put my affiliate link in the description to triple ai uh, you know i'm testing this tool so that you guys don't have to the results on how you can create 3d models are insane so then what i did was i put it in my slicer and i decided that i was going to 3d print this in single color on my 3d printer and the supports got a little crazy as you can see right here but I, I 3D printed it with PETG, which is a pretty durable 3D filament in the 3D printing space. And I put, I printed this on the Creality 3D printer, and it turned out really good. So a lot better than I thought, and I actually got the idea that I was going to go and paint this with acrylic paint. I usually don't paint these 3D prints, but I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. And as you can see here, this actually turned out really well. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually save a lot of filament because what happens is, you know, multicolor 3D printing is extremely popular, right? But the big setback is it takes like 5x the amount of time to 3D print stuff and there's so much waste. So what you can do is actually just paint your 3D prints. I don't know. I have a lot of fun with this. Some people don't really like it, but I think it's a really cool like way to pass time and it really kind of helps me relieve stress. And then here's me clear coating it. You don't have to do this, but acrylic paint can sometimes get like a little dull finish. And you can see some of the imperfections on here, but it, you know, still turned out really good. You know, my backyard looks horrendous. Um, I'm a tech nerd. I don't take care of it. 
But look at this. Like, it actually turned out really good. And look at this. Like, hit me up in the comments if you don't think this is high quality. And then here's that other image we did of the dog. This was somebody's border collie, I think it was. So, like, look at the results on this. And it, it does multicolor. Like, it's absolutely insane. Like, every time I use Trip OAI, like, I just put down my pen on the table. And I'm like, dude, you gotta try it to believe it. Like, it's insane. You could be 3D printing this stuff or just making 3D models for whatever reason. I 3D print them because I'm a nerd when it comes to 3D printing. Like, I'm still just thoroughly blown away. I actually didn't 3D print this one. Uh, I sent the file to the person that was emailing me just because, you know, I, I'm not super into dogs. It was someone else's dog and I just didn't have the passion there to paint it or f spend 15 hours printing it in multicolor. So that's that. So here's another example. This is one of my best friends, uh, French Bulldog. It's a friend of the family. And uh, so what we did was we took this image, I removed the background, and then what I did was I, I put it into the AI modeler, like Triple AI, and it did its thing. And this is the model that it made. And what we're gonna do, this is, this is in the 3D printer slicer, and this is what it looks like as a finished project. Okay, so then next, uh, this younger boy sent me this image of himself that he made with AI, and he wanted to make it into a keychain. So what we did, what we did then was we just uploaded it into Triple AI using the image to 3D modeler. So at first, this is the single color 3D model that it made, and then if you want to do the multicolor there, all you have to do is click on the texture button up here in the right hand corner, and then click on generate texture. And it, it look at this, like I'm so blown away like hit me up in the comments argue me argue me like this is not blowing your mind we're actually going to 3d print this one as well all right so when you go to save here like i was telling you guys what you need to do when you click on export you need to click on export vertex colors and then also save the obj file really really important i've said that multiple times now so just pay attention to that and again, when you upload it into the slicer for the 3D printer, you need to make sure that you only select the amount of colors that you have available for your 3D printer. I only have four because we're gonna be doing this on the Bamboo Lab A1 printer. Some of you might have multiple multicolor systems. I do not. Then situate it however you want on your build plate, and then we're gonna send it off to the 3D printer. So like I was telling you guys, we're gonna 3D print this on the Bamboo Lab A1 in multicolor. And as you can see, the multicolor got kind of weird with some of the supports, but when you peel those away, you're not even gonna see the supports. So check this out here. It, 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 it took like 15 hours. So here is the finished product, and it looks pretty good, right? So you peel away the supports. Some, I will say that this did not turn out perfect. There were some setbacks on the face, but again, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna touch this up with acrylic paint. You could mess around with some of the settings and try to make them better. I should have painted this better in the Triple AI dashboard because what you can actually do is go into the Triple AI dashboard and change some of these settings. I'm still learning some of this stuff and there's just so much to learn in that dashboard and customize. But what we did was we went ahead and we decided to paint some of these parts. And again, you can do this uh, as you wish. Um, I usually, you know, it, it, this one turned out okay. That There are some setbacks to using some of these AI like modelers. Let's let's take a look here, closer look here. So as you can see here, there's just where, where the supports were under the hat didn't turn out the greatest. The mouth was a little questionable. But guys, if we're being honest here, to, to, to turn an image that someone sent me into a 3D model and then 3D print it within about 30 seconds using Triple AI, th it, it's crazy. And you can customize it however you want in Triple AI. I tested Triple AI so that you don't have to. This is my honest review on the tool. I showed you some of the 3D models that we created. And also you can create these customizable, awesome 3D models of Triple AI. All right, I'm gonna quit blabbing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.